Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to the finale of Lapis Relight. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Nope, let me do it again. Three, two, one, go. Okay, now it's all of Ray gonna be like if the whole entire freaking group is gonna be in this episode. I think kind of look cute though. <laughs> I would be that person. Cute in a scary way. I like it. You know what I kind of wish this anime had done? Because the game kind of goes a little bit in depth onto really more the backstory of the game. I thought it was supposed to go into a little bit of the relationship between Flora and this guy that she fell in love with. Because when you go onto the Japanese page for the game, you see two people, a man and a woman. On the left is Flora, but you're wondering, who the freak is this guy? And you're like, what happened? So I wish we kind of got that. Oh, Garnet, you'll be fine. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh my god, you just think of the girl like her. She had a long way to go, but I'm so happy and proud of her. I mean, damn, cool. Hello, puppy.
Lights. freaking gorgeous. Love <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's wrong? Oh, of course. My babies! No, no, mm. Possibly. Is she in her subconsciousness? Are they memories or something? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it's not only Tia's memories, maybe Elsa's as well, since she's also had the same crown. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Your mom? Yeah, it has to be memories from everybody who's worn that crown. That tea and a tea way.
Oh my god. They didn't have to do that. Mm -mm. No, you're not. This is giving me major simple gear vibes, and I love it, but this hurts so much. No, Tia, it's okay. She used her last word words to tell you. She's the best girl, oh my god, because she sacrificed herself for her younger sister. I can't. Yeah. Um, honey, how? Not with four minutes left. <laughs> Mom, stop with the Jerry. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you come here. And when you come bring time, you come now. Okay, screw it. I'm going to do it. All right, so final thoughts on this show. I loved it a lot. As someone who came into this st already knowing certain things, I was happy. Very, very happy about it. And I love the way it went. I love the fact that they waited until the last freaking episode to finally have Ray sing this much. But because um the Twitter page recently shared something like two or three hours ago, with Ray seeing more songs together and just hearing them, I'm just like, oh. even though I just mainly hear Elsa's VA the most, I hope and pray that when the game does come out, we get to have more songs where you're able to hear everybody, like, especially, you know, Kana, the say you for uh, Chloe and the say you for um, the girl who's very similar to Kaudu from Bundry. Because those three on their own, amazing singers. If I hear them all together, I will be done. But this was such a really good show. I mean, I loved it for what it was. I still wish it would have told the story of Flora and the guy that she fell in love with, but I'm guessing they're saving that more for the game because it feels like this. the way the show ends, it still leaves a lot of unanswered questions, and I'm guessing the only way we're going to get that filled is by the game. Which kind of sucks because I liked it and I wish it got a second season, but who knows? I mean, typically the only show, shows, my bad, that has gotten a second season is Love Live and Banzari. Just to explain or flesh out their characters even more. Do I feel like they have enough to make another season or two? Possibly, yeah, because the way this show ends... And um, T is going to go out and find a different Arya to bring her sister's voice back to life. I, I think that's the interesting like thing. I think if it did get a season two, I think I would want longer episodes. So instead of 12, possibly maybe 24 to flesh the characters out a little bit more. Because I felt like still with some of the girls, um, we didn't honestly get, get enough screen time with them or not enough. I felt like, because it is light show, I'm going to do it just as much as I did it with season one of Bunsen, no matter how many times I, um, the time that I reacted to it and rewatched it. Season one was heavily focused on popping party, while season two and season three focused on, um, well, yeah, season one focused on popping party, the OVA focused on popping party and Rosalia. And then season two still focused on all the other girls in different bands, including Rosalia. And Popping Party sort of had, like, a minor focus. Like, they weren't always the main, main focus. And I was okay with that. This show kind of did that as well, where even though Lights was the main focus, everybody else still had, like, their time to shine. Whether it was one episode, two episodes, three episodes, um... To me, I will say, Ray had the, the like, the shortest screen time and such like that. Because Chloe is the headmaster, Elsa is doing her stuff, and the other, um, Angela is, of, of course, <laughs> uh, with Lucifer. And the other two we didn't get to see until this episode, but they were always being talked about. But I just kind of wish that they had an episode where all five girls came together to do something together once again, to be a group again, but... 
honestly, I don't think that's going to happen in the anime because the anime is officially over unless they decide, hey, we're going to give it a season two and we're going to continue it on. But in the game, whenever the game does come out, they're possibly going to give Rey more of a fleshed out backstory to get the reasons of why they broke up. Because I think the reason why they broke up is because of Elsa, you know, liar! slow. Liar! Liar! was a liar! Okay. Slowly but surely losing her voice with the power of the Aria and ish like that. But that's something that we'll never know. Like I said, we don't even know if the game is going to get an English version. So if it doesn't, we're just going to be using fan translations <laughs> until, you know, the servers are down. Or until they say, yeah, we're going to go ahead and have an English version. But because of the fact is, it is made by Bushimo, who has done Love Live, Bang Dream, um, the Assault Lily show that's coming out next year, uh, not next year, next month, that's also getting a game, D4DJ, and a couple other games and animes, it makes sense that they're going to possibly make it. I think they're going to just wait a year whenever this game comes out. I don't know. I gotta look. And then a year later, they're going to be like, oh, hey, here's an English release. <laughs> like always, because we'll be a year behind no matter what, which sucks. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards the series, Lapish Realize. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my squad. And of course, I will see you guys all in October for the start of fall anime. Bye, guys. Woo!